Now to dive into some science, though, on WTOL 11, your day. And Jeff Stevenson from the Imagination Station is here with what we hope is a hot experiment. Well, we're going to be talking about thermal conductivity today. Yeah, go ahead and get um, some goggles and gloves on today because we have a lot of cool science. I'll get today. myself ready while you explain what we're going to be doing. Well, we're going to be talking about thermal conductivity because, um, well, in the news recently, there was a story of a girl in New Hampshire who actually got her tongue stuck to a pole because of this very, very cold weather this year, right? And we kind of wanted to ask, like, how does that happen? How does that work exactly? Like, how does uh, science play a part in that? I'm going to be very unhappy if you're going to make me stick my tongue to a pole. I, I, I won't, even if I triple dog dare you, Chris? I I doubt it. <laughs> okay, we'll right. see though. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, so to get started off, I, I brought two poles in, one made of aluminum, one made of cardboard. Okay. Um, this is actually just Christmas wrapping, right? Um, go ahead and put your hand in both of them and tell me which one feels colder. Uh, the aluminum, for sure. The aluminum feels colder, and you know, if you're at home, you kind of know that if I touch a computer part or a, a book, you know, the, the metal computer piece is going to feel colder than, you know, the paper book. And the reason why that is is. I mean, they're not, they're not any different in temperature. They've both been sitting out at room temperature, right? Mm -hmm. They've just been sitting here all morning. I haven't frozen one or put one in the fridge. So they are at the same temperature, but one feels colder. That's an interesting point. Yeah, right? So, um, and the reason why that is is because the aluminum is a better thermal conductor. That means that it actually pulls heat away from your hand faster. It's actually a thousand times better than the cardboard. Okay. Okay. So since it's a good conductor, we're going to actually get it down to some freezing temperatures. I was going to say, it's cold, but it's not freezing It's not cold. freezing. So why don't you go ahead and throw on our blue gloves here, because I'm going to have you um, kind of play with some liquid nitrogen today. And this stuff's cold. This stuff is negative 320 degrees below zero. So we don't have to go outside or anything like that to get a cold temperature. So why don't you go ahead and put that pole just right into the liquid nitrogen and face it away from you. Face the pole away from you. Perfect. Excellent. Oh, I see why. Yeah, and, and you actually can see why. You see it's, all that. It's uh, bubbling out the top of the pipe as well. Yeah, the nitrogen is kind of bubbling out the top, and that's because that aluminum pole, like I said, was room temperature, and we're cooling it down to a nice cold, cold, frosty temperature. So once it stops uh, boiling away, the liquid nitrogen there, we're going to pull it out, and we'll have a nice cold pole to work with. Okay. So that, that looks pretty good. Why don't you go ahead and pull it out and set it down flat in my tray here. And just kind of steady it for me. You okay. got the gloves on, so you, got you, you got to do the steady in here. So do you want to go ahead and stick your tongue? No, in? I really don't. You sure? I'm, I'm positive on this one. Okay, well, I, I did bring some stunt tongues in with me today, but I'm going to warn you, if you're watching this and you're a little squeamish, you're going to want to TiVo past this part. So if you're eating breakfast, just kind of hold that thought for a minute. Okay, so I brought in some swine tongues, okay, mm. um, so that we can simulate somebody putting their tongue on here and kind of see what happens. Sound good? I love it. All right, so let's go ahead and get it all salivated up. Right, you wouldn't put a dry, you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't not lick your tongue no. before you did this, right? You gotta, you gotta impress that fourth grade crush you have. So let's go ahead and uh, put it on the pole. Okay. And we're gonna set it down there and I'm gonna see if I can't, if you l relax your grip a little bit, uh. I think I can, I think I can lift my pole actually. And if you, if you think you can, go ahead and lift that pole up. Yeah, and kind of, you can lift it all the way up. And you can see that that tongue is actually completely stuck on that pole. Kind of cool, huh? Kind of cool, but very gross. Well, yes, and we actually called the Toledo Police uh, uh, Fire Department to see if they've ever gotten any calls about this, right? If somebody's ever gotten their tongue stuck on there. And they said no, but feel free to call them. I've, seen it, it, I've seen it in a movie. Yeah, so, so. I know it can happen. <laughs> and everything you see on TV is true, Chris. Everything you see on TV <laughs> is true, right. Um, but let's see what, do you think I should just pull it away? Rip it off. I'm probably not going to look if you do. Well, okay, you can close your eyes. Okay. All right, I'm just going to rip it off. And as you can see, oh. we've got some serious frostbite occurring. And I'll kind of hold it still if you want to see that frostbite occurring on my tongue. So that's all frozen uh, tissue right there, all frozen muscle tissue. So you don't want to rip it away. What you'd want to do if you're ever in this situation is you'd want to actually pour hot water on it. Okay. So, and that, that would allow it to change the temperature and you'd be able and to pull And hopefully off. you could... Let's just not find ourselves <laughs> in that situation. Sounds good to me. So this is a lesson on thermal Thermal conductivity. conductivity. The aluminum pole is very good at pulling heat away from the tongue. All right, so then it actually causes all the water in your tongue to freeze instantly and freeze to that pole. Dare I ask why you brought three tongues? Uh, Was it just in case you needed a backup yeah, tongue? Yeah, you always have a backup tongue, you know, just in case, uh, the, you know, first I'm, one. I'm just happy mine wasn't one of the backup <laughs> tongues. All right, Jeff, well, we thank you very much for that... Uh, Science experiments. <laughs>
No problem, Chris. That would go well with grossology. That's done with, though. That's what done are you guys with, up to now? Uh, well, the thing we're really um, promoting right now is our little scientist workshops. I'm um, really excited about it. It's workshops for kindergarten and under children, and it's a way for you and your child to kind of play and learn in a really, really fun environment. So they start March 13th, and you have two weeks to sign up right now, and you'll get a discount if you sign up for the whole nine-part series if you sign up in the next two weeks online. I like the sound of that. Thanks so much, Jeff. Stay with us. More WTLM in your day coming right up after this.